My name is Simon Pyle. Uh, I'm an artist uh, who works in photography and new media. With a piece that I have in this show, I put a screen into the woods with a surveillance camera, uh, looking at the nature around us. So one of my goals is to heighten those physical elements of screens and really bring, bring attention to the fact that it is a physical object, even though I feel like it's, it's easy to forget. My background's in photography, so I've been you know, trained to look at the world through a camera, and as, you know, as over the last decade and decades, as we've started to use more digital cameras, digital technology, I realized that so many photographs were never making it off the screen. You know, you would, instead of looking through a camera, to, you know, or looking through a viewfinder, and looking pretty much at an object, you'd be looking at a screen on a camera, and that picture gets made, and then it goes to a screen on your computer, and then maybe it doesn't even get printed. Um, and so I just started getting really interested in screens and uh, JPEG files, and just sort of well, trying to look at the fundamental building blocks, I guess, of what, uh, what is there with digital technology. I think in some ways it makes it more difficult sometimes to separate what you're experiencing in the moment from your preconceptions from photographs you've seen already because there are so many out there. Um, and also the dominance of the eye in how you're experiencing the landscape. When you're trying to find the photograph, you're not necessarily paying as much attention to the sounds or the smells um, of being in that place. There's an argument to be, made that, to be made that glass is one of the most important materials uh, in terms of the impact on society over the last thousand years because it has allowed uh, a lot of the kinds of construction that, that are done, but also to have that barrier between ourselves and the environment. I think there's something about the relationship between the, the photograph as an image and the photograph as an object. And I think it's easier for us to think of the printed photograph as being an object and easy to forget that a screen is an object too. Screens have this tendency to disappear when, they're, when they turn on. They're, um, they, they, there's something about the, the light and the reproduction that we forget that there's an object behind it. So, um, and that's one of the reasons that I've been wanting to work with screens so much. in a similar way to how screens can become invisible and their nature as objects can disappear. Projections take that one step further because the image is totally divorced from the projector which is off somewhere else. One thing that I've experienced is that for me looking at a screen causes me to pay a lot less attention to the rest of my body and the rest of my senses. And I, I, could, I, I think that vision is, a lot of, in a lot of ways, a, a very primary sense for a lot of people. And I think that screens can make us forget that we have bodies. I think there is, there is a lot of potential in people hacking into technology and feeling more comfortable opening things up and mashing things together. Um, and the more that things feel open and uh, customizable, the more that people will use that to do all sorts of things. The interesting thing also is that the glass is just the, the protective part of the screen. The glass keeps us from actually even 
touching the, the image itself. And it's just this, the, um, it, it protects us from, from the image coming at us and, and, and vice versa. And the thing, the thing about a screen that is similar to, to glass is that it, you, they let some things through, and but they also divide at the same time. So there, there are these invisible barriers that we put up for our own protection, but they also can limit us in various ways. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I just, uh, you know, I think it's important to, to be aware that those things are there.